so here with my mom. Also, happy early Mother's Day. Thank you. This is another reason why we're sitting down to play this now. <laughs> and my brother. Hello. And being quiet for this video is perfect because my dad is sleeping because he is working night shift. So, we have the weirdo cards that we are not using here and the ones we've chosen. He chose. Do you want to show them? What does it say? It is the wild man of. I don't know. A burg of any. <laughs> <laughs> I have the starving ram. And what do you have? I have the waddling pigs of Shenzhen. Shenzhen. I think the designs on the weirdo cards are pretty cool. They were very weird. to do that. <laughs> also, my cat might jump on the table at some point. So, yeah. So we have our deck of the life cards, which are the situation cards here. Then we have all of our comeback cards ready. Each of us has eight of them. And usually, um, once you use one and usually once you use one for that round, you would put it back and then get a new card. But I think just for time-wise, we're just going to put it back and go down until we get have one come back left. This is going to be fun. Ready? Yes. yes. Okay. So, I'm going to put that back. In English. <laughs> I'm going to be the BWC first and choose the first situation card says, you insult another driver. At the next lights, he gets out of his car with a baseball bat in his hand. So that's the situation. And we have to have a comeback, or we can use our weirdo card and come out. Or use our own answer. Yeah. <laughs> Bench press their mother. <laughs> Cover their eyes with my hands and say, be my special friend. Or jump on their back and say, giddy up. <laughs> So which ones did you guys like? I like jump on their back. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Okay, that was mine. So of course. I'm gonna put all of these back, and I get this as a point now. <laughs> your neighbors turn up to your barbecue uninvited, and complain that you're excluding them. Tell her I have found the meaning of life, and it's there in her beautiful eyes. <laughs> Lock their phone in a safe and tell them to get a life. <laughs> Wave at them for a long time. <laughs> so you get to choose which one is the weirdest, or you can ask for her help. Lock their phone in a safe and tell them to get a life. <laughs> yep. Two points. You always get the weirdest cards. <laughs> An old couple are kissing passionately on the train when their false teeth fly into your lap. <laughs> I have the perfect one. Okay. <laughs> Breathe them out loud. Roar. Make them eat soil or touch their teeth and say they're like jewels. <laughs> I, I would say the third one. The jewels? Yeah. That was mine. Of course. Touch their teeth and say they're jewels. Put back. Put me here. Your mother-in-law walks in while you're on the toilet. <laughs> Tell her that her voice sounds like a dying whale. <laughs> Do squats. Or coat myself in whipped cream and pretend I'm in the Alps. <laughs> I would say the last one. I would say the last one. The Alps? Yeah. yeah. That was mine. <laughs> the best cards. Your vet keeps insulting you. Disable their shields and prepare the... The photon torpedoes. 
dress up in a bear costume and swing my fake claws. Tell them I've learned everything about life from playing Call of Duty Modern Modern Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the weirdest? This one. It's mine. Okay. <laughs> Tell them I've learned everything about life from playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. In the gym, your personal trainer collects your sweat in a bottle and begins sipping it. <laughs> that my body is a temple and if they can't see that they must be blind say you should always start the day with an egg insult Harry Potter <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't know I don't what know. was the egg one? Um, say you should always start the day with an egg <laughs> that was mine okay hey I finally got a point you need to convince your theater studies teacher, Mrs. Welbeck, to give you the starring role in the latest production. Do it like a zombie. <laughs> Say that the earth is flat and put a marble on the ground to prove it. Or point at her cellulite pretending to be helpful. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna say the say that the earth is flat one, put a marble on the ground to prove it. I like to do it like a zombie one though, that's the second. So who had the marble one? Me. I had yeah. the zombie one. What's your point then? I didn't like the so you like one because that's not something like That's not nice. Yeah. To be ashamed of or anything. Yeah. Like too. And we've gotta hope that our last answer is good enough. Mine's not even gonna fit with it. <laughs> you were in a public pool. When a young child hugs you and calls you daddy. <laughs> Criticize their children. <laughs> Ask her how she can move her face with so much makeup on it. <laughs> Call him dude because I've forgotten his name. <laughs> you forgot his what? Because I've forgotten his name. Oh. What's the weirdest? Call him dude because I forgot his name. Okay. That's mine. Okay. Right. Should we get to this point? Let's go ahead and look at the score thing. Alright, you got one. You are the specialist. So, your weirdness is confined to one small area. You are an expert in being weird about this one thing, but other than that, you are a creature of mind numbing normality. Sort yourself out and get a personality. That sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got three. You are the dabbler. You are starting to show signs of weirdness here and there, but you have a long way to go if you want to escape the horrors of being normal. You need to stop thinking about what you think everyone wants you to think and think about what you want to think about instead. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and you I have four. four, so I am the explorer. You have turned your back on the land of the norms and are beginning to take your first steps into the land of the weird. You're the type of person who is not afraid to go to work in a wetsuit or eat noodles out of your shoe. You have good prospects of being the weird individual you have always wanted to be. Keep at it. <laughs> so I guess I'm the weirdest then. Weirdo. <laughs> Thanks. So since no one used their weirdo card what we're gonna do is do one more thing and come up with our own answers for it <laughs> someone smashes an antique bowl in a shop and says you did it someone smashes an antique bowl in a shop you first and says you did it i would probably I would probably pick up all the broken pieces, throw it at them, and say, but you're touching them. <laughs> okay. Tell them I don't know which one looks older, you or the antique ball. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and just be like, okay, I guess I did, and then smash everything else in there for fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would, I would do that one. Yeah. That one's the weirdest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I guess mine is the weirdest. So, <laughs> yay. The starving ram wins. <laughs> that is going to be it for this video. Um, we had fun playing it, and we're going to play more off camera because she really wants to. Like, it's a fun game, but she's the one over here, like, begging to play more. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is going to be it for this video. I wanted to go ahead and say thank you to How Am I Weird, though, for sending this stuff and for making the giveaway and everything possible. Um, yeah. I hope that you have a good night, day, day or whatever time it is where you, you are. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and stay safe.